those of you who are able to see us, we're awfully glad you're with us. No one is having any fun these days after this storm on the East Coast, though, as you're about to see, some have tried. First of all, about this storm, it's possible to see from space some of the places across this huge region where people have no power and can't see us right now. David Letterman and Jimmy Fallon, who taped their shows here in New York, played to empty houses, no audience, because people were ordered off the streets of New York in the teeth of the storm. And their guests were game, including Denzel Washington and yellow rain slicker, and Donald Trump appeared this week wearing his customary orange top. A lot of New Yorkers who have power and need a little lift every day have come to love Mayor Bloomberg's storm briefings. First, for the woman who may be the most expressive signer for the deaf in all of human history. And then the moment each day when the mayor switches to Spanish or something awfully close. Donde esta el uh, albergue más cerca llame al tres once. The mayor gets credit for diligence, if not style. He's been taking lessons for years during spare moments at home, in the car, on the subway before it was flooded. Even if his Spanish is delivered in his same Boston native accent he uses for English, in this life you get points for trying. Running a city of 8 million people plunged into partial darkness and chaos is difficult enough. Social media played a big role in this storm. It helped get a lot of information out. Sadly, it also spread a lot of lies. The false Twitter rumors included the New York Stock Exchange flooded, false. The ominous storm over Lady Liberty, fake. So were the sharks and the floodwaters, where people already had enough to worry about without any enhancement from digital-era shut-ins with a bad idea and too much free time. In a related story, Brownie is back. Michael Brown, who helped bring us the largest domestic human rights outrage of the modern era, the Katrina response, said this week the lesson of Hurricane Sandy is that people people need to chill, chill something we intend to pass along to these homeowners in Manteloking, New Jersey, as soon as the embers from their homes have thoroughly cooled. And finally, about New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. He has been tactile and indefatigable and getting high marks for managing this crisis so far. And if you don't think this is personal for him, listen to his partial list of his favorite places that were lost on the seaside boardwalk, a summer staple for a lot of us. The roller coaster, the log flume ride are in the ocean. The boardwalk in front of Lucky Leo's, Brian, is gone. It is literally gone. The big sausage and pepper stand in the middle is gone. So after all this loss, you might be curious as to why Rush Limbaugh went after Governor Christie today. It was because he's getting along so well with the president, working together, saying nice things about Barack Obama. Just when we feared the storm wiped away everything, we learn politics survived. Proof that life goes on. And by the way, if you're looking to help the victims of this disaster, we've put a whole list of ways to do that on our website tonight. That's rockcenternbc.com.